guys welcome back again to my channel thank you very much guys for watching to my channel all this while for the wonderful comments and wonderful appreciations what you guys are giving me thanks for the support i'm really moved i really feel blessed if you are not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel you will get you know, frequent videos on photography and okay let's get directly to the subject guys today we're going to talk about speed we're going to talk about shutter speed and uh, we're going to talk about various techniques of photography using the shutter speed let's move on guys directly to the subject right now Wow. Alright guys, back in. Let's talk about shutter speed. So what's the shutter speed all about? I have a roll camera with me. I can show you how the shutter speed works. You see something, you open your eyes. Whenever you don't want to see, you close your eyes. You know? That's what the shutter actually does with your camera as well. I have a roll camera here. Let me just uh, you know, unmount the lens from this show you how it works this is a film camera guys i don't know if you guys have seen this before but your shutter works the same way in all your digital cameras as well okay so here winding it and making a click you see that did you, did you guys notice it let me do it again right so what happens is there's a mirror here right so this mirror helps in you know goes to the viewfinder and we see the image to the viewfinder but when you click what happens is just keep it in view mode. While you click, the lens, light from the lens directly goes into the, the sensor. This moves up, and then you know in digital cameras you will be having a shutter here again. The lens moves up and the shutter opens it. The shutter opens, and once it makes a click, the shutter releases. Okay, so that's the way it works. I mean, since this is a film camera, you only have the mirror. So you, when the mirror lifts, it directly opens up to the uh, film. So in modern cameras, in digital cameras, you have the sensor here and you have the shutter for the sensors itself. So it is the amount of time which you give for the light to enter into your sensor. So that's called as uh, you know, the shutter speed. Okay, so the shutter speed is basically defined by seconds. So one second shot to, you know, you, have, you can slower it from until 30 seconds in a default mode. But of course, you can, you can keep the shutter open as much as time as you want in the bulb mode, which is called as B mode. It's called as bulb mode in, in your digital cameras. And uh, you have you know, shutter speed ranging from 1 25th of a second and before that, 8th of a second. Moves on until 1000th of a second, 1 2000th of a second, 1 4000th of a second. And there are a few cameras which actually come with 1 8000th of a second also. Okay, so how does this uh, shutter speed really matter in photography? Let's talk about it. Anything which is below 1 25th of a second is called as the slow shutter speed and anything which is beyond 1 250th of a second is called as the faster shutter speed. Please don't ask me what's in between 1 25th of a second and 1 250th of a second, maybe it's either this or that. So it's basically determined in right, how much a uh, human can uh, hold the camera handle without a shake. If you want to set your shutter speed as 1 25th of a second and have your camera in the hand and take shots, uh, you will get a picture without the camera shake. So now, what are the techniques? I mean, what is the shutter speed? How do you make good images out of shutter speed? Say you're there in a waterfalls. Okay, you want to get a scenic look of the waterfalls. You want to see the flowing of the water, or you need to, you know, reduce the shutter speed and then not try clicking on it. So you will see the beautiful flow of water. What happens here is the more uh, time the shutter is open, the image you know, is captured that much in the sensor. One one on top of the other, you can assume it like that. Uh, you want to take a moving of a car, then you just use the shutter speed, you will find all the land, you have trees, you have more stable objects, and this is the only object which is uh, which is moving. You have a shutter speed which is, you know, quarter of a second, or one half of a second, or one second, you know, you will find the motion of the car. I think you will try to take it in the light, high traffic zone. You want to see the trials of the light. Talked about car trials. So this is a demo which I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to keep my shutter speed about 25 seconds or 15 seconds. I'm going to keep the aperture closed with a bigger F number so that there's a minimum light which enters into the camera. I don't want much light, that's the whole idea. And if you remember guys, I'm keeping the ISO as 100 as minimum so that I don't want excess of light at all to get into the camera. Here's how the shots are going to look like. And, but these occasions you definitely have to use on tripod with a handle uh, it's, it's not going to work you'll, you'll definitely get camera shake and the two things which you really have to understand uh, in, in this concept is one is the camera shake and one is the motion blur 
right? The camera shake is something which is on you. You use an uh, slower shutter speed, you know, you'll end up in camera shake. You know, if you want to take the same thing as a motion blur, that's the places where you can use a slower shutter speed, a beautiful motion blur. You want to take uh, fireworks. That's one of the occasions where you can use a uh, you know, slower shutter speed and try it. And uh, where your higher shutter speed works, right? Higher shutter speed really works in places where uh, you have to capture things in extremely fast. So we are right now with the bird sanctuary. We are going to take a couple of photographs, flight of the bird using the higher shutter speed. Uh, in this occasion, since the light is little getting low, I would be going for a higher ISO. And uh, I would be sticking with the shutter speed more than 1000 of a second so that I really get the flight of the birds. So here guys, here, here, this is how the birds look like with the higher shutter speed. But this is where your shutter speed dips. So it depends on the speed, you know, that's the reason why you actually say it as a uh, shutter speed also. Right? There's a thumb rule in photography, which will ensure that, you know, you take good snaps and without a uh, camera shake. So this is a uh, 50 mm lens, uh, which is written here. So all these lenses which is there on this table is all 50 mm lens. So if you have a 50 mm lens, your shutter speed should be either you know, equal to that or greater to that. By doing this, you can ensure that you get a good image, by for sure. But if you're using a uh, crop sensor cameras, right? So that is where, if you're using the same lens, say 50 mm lens, is where you'll have to double the shutter speed. These days you're getting crop sensors cameras, that's the reason why I just want to talk about this as well. Double the uh, shutter speed. Say for example, you have a 50 mm lens, you need to make it you know, 100 or uh, more than that. So that will ensure that you, know, you get a better picture on it. You get something called as uh, image stabilizer. Okay, so you see something like here, which is you have a button here. This is uh, this is a Canon lens. Uh, you have something like an uh, image stabilizer. So why they have brought in this is because uh, this can help people to you know avoid the kind of camera shakes to a certain extent. Say for you take one twenty fifth of a second image stabilizer on, give you a little stabilization of the image. In Canon lenses, it's called as image stabilizer. And Nikon cameras, it's called as you know, VR. These are the few things that shutter speed, guys. It's, it's an excellent way to experiment with uh, shutter speed. But of course, you have to ensure that you know, the three pillars of photography go together, which we're talking about OIS on aperture as well. So keep trying, guys. Keep trying, and uh, you know, while I'll, in the next video or something, let me talk about you know, how all these things correlate together and how better is that sort of it. But right now, please do try using different occasions shutter speed. You will definitely enjoy it. All right. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please do subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss any of the videos whichever I upload on photography. And also do hit the bell icon right now so that you do not miss any notifications at all. Thanks guys for watching.